Hi, this is the Balkan Architect and in this video I will show you everything you need to know about walls in Revit. So here I have a basic architectural template open. I have two levels, level 1 and level 2. And let's start drawing walls. So the wall icon is over here on the architecture tab, but you can also get to it by typing WA shortcut. This is just save project pop-up, let's cancel it. And now we're in the wall command. So now you can draw your wall using these tools over here. And first you need to set up some basic settings. Here you need to set up, do you want the wall to go up above the level that you're on or below the level? I want up so I'm going to go height. Here we have unconnected which means it will go 8 meters up but I want to connect it to this level 2 so I'm just gonna go here and hit level 2 so it will go from level 1 to level 2 this we'll talk about a bit later this is the chain so now when I write when I draw the wall when I draw one wall it will immediately go into a second wall so I don't have to start again and if I uncheck this you see this is now finished now I have to start again so usually I like to leave this checked in. And then there is the offset command which is basically if you want to draw in an offset so if I want to have a one meter wide corridor over here I can go here and type in one enter and just hit here and here and you can see this wall is offset it by one meter. Now when you've drawn all these walls you can move them around and you can use these here dim dimension lines so if I hit here I can write 2 and this is 2 meters or I can move this here move this there or you can use these grips at the end and you can change it basically like that now when you've already drawn your walls you can select them and you can use these setups over here so you can find your base constraint which is level 1 you can change it or you can change the top constraint which is level 2 or you can make some offset if you wanted th your wall to start let's say 1 meter below level 1 you would just type this in and go apply and now when we go into 3D we'll see that this wall is a bit lower that is our 1 meter offset I'm just gonna put it on zero for now. So I'm gonna go back to level one and let's talk about these here location lines. So here I have just a basic floor and let's start drawing a wall on the peripheral of this wall of this floor. So I'm going to go WA and when I start the drawing you can see our wall is basically on the center of this line which is wrong you don't want that you want your wall on the inside of the floor and let's change our wall you can basically change your walls over here in this drop menu and let's use something a bit more complex like this wall so you have all these layers and it's basically on the middle you don't want that so I'm going to go and delete this wall and I'm going to go again wall and I'm going to find this location line and here it says wall center line that is the center of your wall you can use core center line that will be the center line of the core or of the structural part of your wall and we have finish face exterior and finish face interior for this particular situation we want to use finish face exterior so this is basically that finish face and now when I start drawing you can see it draws the wall on the inside. Let's use some different wall, so a bit more complex. And I'm still here, and you see. And if it starts going on the diff on the other side, you can just type space or just tap space, and it will draw it on the inside. Now, when you have sort of a this situation and you want to connect your walls you can select them and just physically move them or another thing you can do is you can use the trim command or trim and extend so you just type in tr 
and like this you can connect your walls but we need another wall here let's just draw a random wall over here and connect it now we have all these walls connected but you want this wall to be aligned with this line what you can do for this you can use the align tool so you go AL for the align tool you hit this line first and then the exterior line of this wall and you've connected it you have this little icon over here so you can lock it in place but we don't have to do it right now and just another thing you can see this wall is facing the outside this one is facing the inside in order to change that you need to select this wall find these two little arrows in the middle tap them and you see it's flipped now we have to align it again AL align it and let's lock it in place this time another thing you might want to do in, with your walls is to make an opening so you can select it and you can either use the split element tool which is SL and you need to basically cut the wall into places select the middle place and delete it or you can also just select the wall go wall opening and basically hit these two and you've basically opened your wall this is a bit easier way to do it but you can later on change this opening okay now once we've done this let's go into 3d view and you see I modeled a roof above this wall but our walls aren't really reaching the roof so what we need to do is we need to select all these walls I'm going to just hover over one of them and hit tab and you see it selected all these walls I selected it and here in modify wall we have attach top base and by hitting this and selecting our roof you see it automatically attached our walls to the roof so it did it did all our work for us this is that opening we can make it larger widen it make it smaller whatever now let's draw a simple wall again I'm going to go here to wall find here a generic wall and just draw it I'm going to go back to modify and go into 3d now you can see this is just a basic simple wall the end lines are vertical and usually this is what you want but sometimes you want something more interesting or some weird shape and I'm going to show you how to do that so now we're going to select this wall and we're going to go to edit profile and it basically turns your wall into like this oh, it's made out of these pink lines and now you can edit the shape of your wall you can use these drawing tools in order to make your shape so let's delete this one and let's go use the arc tool and maybe make it an arc over here and maybe we can delete this part and make it a bit sharper and now to connect these two I'm going to use a trim command and let's make an opening in the center and go finish you always need to check this for finishing and there you go you have quite an interesting and different wall and when we go back to level one you can see it here is our opening and there's just one more thing I want to show you when we create a simple wall and just go to select out of it when you select it here we have some setups and when we go here to structural you see there's structural and you can check this or uncheck it this basically means that is this wall an architectural element or is it a structural element if we check structural that means that later on structural engineers can use this this wall in order to do their structural analysis so if you want that you need to check the here structural and now you have a structural wall and you can see here we have some extra tools to add rebar and etc etc
Okay, that's pretty much all you need to know about walls in Revit. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video and have a nice day.